Alright, so let's give Lizzie her morphine. Let's see how this goes. Hey! Oh my god! Don't tell me you managed to get it! Yeah, I only had to stick my hand in a wind turbine. Just for you. Well, I'm the man. I've got your morphine. Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you, Michael! I really can't thank you enough! The party tonight's gonna be legendary! All thanks to you, my hero! Where's the party? Can I join? Surely I deserve it! Of course you can join! The party's at the disco bar later on today! Cool! I can't wait to have some fun with you and your friends! It will be so much fun! I'm going to the hotel for a pre-party now! I'll see you later on in the disco bar! By the way, don't go to the disco too early, else you'll end up sitting there by yourself. Hee <laughs> hee! I'm so excited. I might as well. Oh, you silly boy. All right, see you soon. Quest completed. Morphine for Lizzie. Okay, we're on the right track. We're getting our quests done. We are rocking and we are rolling, guys. All right, so... I really don't know where else to go. I guess we can see if she's gone with the truck. Oh, not the power plant. Nothing's lit up yet either, so... No, nothing new there. Um, maybe we are supposed to go to the disco bar early. Nothing here. Still can't go there. Don't need anything here. Still under construction. I think we're actually getting to the end of what we can actually do in this game, guys. Hi, do you mind letting me in? I'm here to meet up with a friend who stays at the resort. Sure, can I see your access card, please? Um, I have the green one. Oh, honey, that won't be enough. I can't let you in unless you have the gold one. But my friend is... Oh, never mind. I guess I'll just wait for her to come. Alright. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there she is. Hey, Lizzie. What the hell is this loser doing here? I don't know. I told that idiot to come here later so we can get in before he gets here. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh do you guys see what just happened? He, he, he breaks the circuit breaker to steal wine for them. And then he physically sticks his hand in a turbine generator to mess his hand up so he can get morphine. Doesn't take the morphine and gives it to her. And she was just totally, completely playing him. They were going to go inside before he gets here, so he couldn't even get inside. Wow. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Hey, Lizzie, what's going on? Oh my god, is he talking to you? I can't believe you forced yourself to patronize with him all this time. I did it to get us wine and morphine. It did get us wine and morphine, didn't it? Lizzie, you're so cruel. This boy is probably in love with you now. What? Lizzie? Are you guys messing with me? Listen, kid. Thanks again for the wine and morphine. But I'm afraid this is where our relationship ends. Yeah, well, I got nude pictures of you now. Ha! <laughs> I've got nude pictures of you. How do you like that? I don't want to sound cruel, but let's be honest here, hon. You didn't seriously think we'd become best buddies or anything, did you? Oh, please don't give me this judgmental look. It's not as if you didn't have an ulterior motive when you were being so nice to me. Would you still help if I was a fat, ugly girl? I suspect you wouldn't. I have simple advice for you, kiddo. Think with your brain and not with your... Well, you know what. Um, I just wanted us to be friends or you'll pay for this. You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this, bitch! You don't know who I am! Uh, I'll tell you who you'll be. A cripple if you don't piss off. Leave him be, David. Let's go inside. I needed a drink. Actually, let's go back. I don't want to say that. Let's be nice. I'm backing up. I just want to be friends. But I really just wanted us to be friends. Of course you did. Get your ass out of here, kid. Let him be, David. Let's go and just go inside. I need a drink. Wow, that was freaking horrible of her. Are you okay, darling? Oh, really? I feel like shit right now. 
That girl had completely fooled you, didn't she? Be careful with women staying at the resort. They may not give the appearance of being particularly intelligent, but you have to remember that they're all self-made multimillionaires. And you can't achieve that as a woman unless you know your way around a male-dominated business world. It'll be very good at playing guys like you. Bear in mind that next time you hang out with them. Thanks, Rihanna. Thanks for your words of wisdom. How about you find me uh, a good place to get a wig? How about you do that? Mother Teresa. Alright, my short acquaintance with Lizzie became to a brutal end. Security lady was my whole encounter and warned me to be careful when dealing with women like her. I don't know why this dude's dropping notes like that about everything. It's weird. Um, truck now? Oh, nope, still not. I thought she said something different. I I really don't know where to go now. Um, actually, I have pictures, right? I have pictures of Lizzie, so I got no 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 um, problem with uh, sharing them with that little kid now. Um, we're going to the fishing village. All right, so let's see. Oh, we get to go straight there. I got something for you, buddy. I got something for you. You have the nudes? Yep, I have a few on my phone. Sweet. Which girls are those? Lizzie's. Does it matter? You wouldn't know any of them anyway. I know most of them. They often come out to the forest with their drinking parties. They're always there to peek on them. It's one of the few interesting things I can do on this boring island. Okay, that's not creepy at all. So are you going to give me the fish and onions now? Yes, you definitely deserve it. Just send those pics to my phone. I'm going to have so much fun tonight. Wow. Wow. What are you doing tonight? What do you think he's doing, stupid? He's, he's going he's gonna to beat the Pope is what he's going to do. The chicken is going to be choked. We are flogging the dolphin all night long. Say, look, yeah. What do you think? Obviously. Oh, please don't tell me. Forget I ever asked. I'm heading back to the resort now. Thanks for the food stuff. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, cool. So now we got the, all the fish and onions. That works. So now we can go to the kitchen. All right, so we can keep going. The game's not quite over yet. This is good. Here you go, brah. Brought some stuff for you. Brought some stuff for you, brah. My fish and onions. Oh, thank you so much, son. Finally, I can make some truly three Michelin star quality dishes. Okay, you don't look like the tire guy. That's the Michelin man. Quest completed, supply run. We are doing it, man. Another mission solved. Alright. Uh, we're out of missions, though. Tell the manager we did it. Yeah, nothing else is lighting up. Hey, Michael, are you done with your tasks yet? I'm done. Danny can fix the truck now, and Hugo got his fish and onions. Excellent work. You've only been here a short while, but you're already making a difference. Yeah, I've already got nude pictures of your uh, guests and given them to the locals. I have another task for you. Could you go to the laundryette and see if you can fix the broken washing machines there? Most are working just fine, but a few are malfunctioning for no apparent reason. We need the issue resolved soon, else we won't be able to deal with the amount of laundry that comes in every day. And we definitely wouldn't want to force our customers to sleep on dirty bedding. Okay. Laundry lady. I'm sorry, but I cannot talk right now. We, we already know this. Godforsaken, Godforsaken washing machines, I know. That's what I'm here for. Diana sent me. About time. I hope you can get them working soon. There's so much laundry and not enough washing machines. Don't get your hopes up. I'm no expert on washing machines, but I'll try my best. Saying that I'm not an expert is an overstatement. I don't know the first thing about washing machines. Shit, where do I even start? Maybe the power's not plugged in? Hmm. Hey, uh, you look a bit lost. Do you need any help? Hey, I need some help, and I'm not sure you'll be able to provide me with any. Some of those washing machines are not working, and I don't know much about washing machines. Not a problem. Let me have a look. Oh, are you sure? 
I think I should be able to figure it out eventually. Hey, only because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't fix things. Whoa, what is she wearing? I don't even know what that kind of outfit's called. It's like a leotard almost. The panel's on, so power is definitely plugged in. I don't smell anything burning, so at least we can be sure the drive belt and motor haven't suffered any serious damage. If that was the case, then we'd have to call in a professional. <laughs> God, it's so dusty back here. I can barely breathe. I'm just, just keep looking. Keep checking. I don't see any water leakage, and all the wires seem to be connected cor correctly. Oh, I found it. It's a drain hose. Looks like they're completely clogged up. We just need to clean them. Wow. How'd you find the issue so quickly? Don't worry about the unclogging. I'll do it. All done. The washing machines are working again. Thanks so much for your help. My pleasure. I'm Michael, the new handyman. What's your name? Maya, pleased to meet you. How interesting. You must be the first person in the resort who doesn't as soon as I introduce myself go, the new handyman? You need to help fix so many things. That's funny. Is that really what everyone is saying? Yeah, it's like everyone is waiting for a savior to rescue the resort. So what are you doing here? I'm a maid at the hotel. I came to pick up some clean bedding. Uh, compliment her looks or her fixing skills? Skills. Well, I don't know. What should I do? Looks. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you must be the most beautiful maid I've ever seen. And I frequently visit maid.com. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I didn't expect that. Whoa, what are you doing, Maya? Hey, so how about you tell me something about yourself? Have you been working here long? I actually arrived on the island not long ago. You're not from Easton? That makes sense. It's a small town, and I'm pretty sure I've seen you before. So you're a local girl from Easton? Yes, but I won't be there long, hopefully. I'm trying to get away from that dump. It's funny, because I came here in search of adventures, and you're going to get away. But it's so beautiful here. Well, if you spend 19 years of your life looking at the same trees, the same rocks, the same everything, you slowly get sick of it. I was so excited when they announced they're building a resort on the island. I applied for a job there before they even finished building it. Imagine my disappointment when I realized the resort only accepts female customers and the only males allowed are husbands or boyfriends of the female guests or members of the staff. Like that matters. What's wrong with female guests? Or you want to seduce rich men? Why is the resort accepting only female guests such a bad thing? I'm not lesbian, so I wouldn't be able to flirt with them. So you're from the mainland? Do you go to college? Do you have wild parties there? Um... Yes. Oh, yeah. I partied so much you wouldn't even know. Oh, I wish I had your life. So, have you done it many times? You know, sleep with a girl? Uh, virgin or a few times? Virgin. Uh, actually, I'm still a virgin. Oh, really? Don't be ashamed. I'll let you in a secret. I'm also a virgin. Hey, do you want to play a quick game? Sure. Okay, watch carefully. Four... One, seven, two, what's this? It will be four. Because it was the last number that she held up. That's right, let's try one more and make sure you don't flunk it. Ten, six, eight, what's this? I don't know. Um, ten, six, eight. I don't. I don't know. It's got the least amount of fingers. Let's go with one. Oh dear! I thought you'd be smarter than that. 
Oh my god, time flies so quickly, I have to go. Oh, we missed something. Damn it. Alright, that's okay. I had so much fun hanging out with you, Michael. I hope we can do it again soon. Oh, I can go back. We can go back. We can go back, guys. We're gonna go nine. Nope. Haha, -ha, we can write button cheat. We're rewinding time. Five. You got it. You're such a smart guy. Oh, she has to leave either way. Nothing changed. Shit, I can't find my access card anywhere. Could you help me look around for it? I bet it's the gold card. Of course. Oh no, we can't find it anywhere. I'm so screwed. Can you not borrow one from the other maids? No, you don't understand. This is the third time I am losing an access card. If they find out I lost it once more, I'll be fired. Unless you could steal one temporarily from the manager's office. You're the handyman. You have access to the office, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, we're doing things for everybody anyway, and they're not appreciative of it. Why not just do something for you, too? I can go inside there, yes, but I can't just take any access card I want. Oh, no, so I'm getting fired then. I guess we'll have to say goodbye to each other now, Michael. I'll find a way to get it for you. Okay, I'll find a way to get you an access card. Which one do you need? Thank you so much, Michael. I need the gold access card, of course. I'll wait for you here. Still a golden for myself. All right, so... Yep, she just wants the card. All right, so we gotta go to the main office now. Um, let's see. I was gonna say I thought I saw some stuff light up. Okay, that's about meeting a sweet maid, Maya. And what's this? Get the gold card for Maya. And nothing new. Right, how do you steal a gold card from the office? Hey, Michael, how can I help you? Nothing. Hi, Lucy. Just out of curiosity, where are the access cards stored in the office? Why? Are you playing in the Nick one? <laughs> Joking, of course. They're stored inside the metal cabinet under Diana's desk. The office is always locked when we're not in here, so access cards are safe. Diana seems busy and stressed out. I think you should take her for a walk, maybe. I'm not being completely obvious in my motives. You could try to convince her. She's usually working till late to prove people that she can do a better job than any man in her position. I also feel like she partly blames herself for Luke's disappearance. It's so funny that sometimes she says she wishes she was less attractive so people would take her more seriously. I'd love to look like her. She was so beautiful. Thanks for the information. I'll try to convince her to go for a walk. I'll offer her a Scooby snack just like a dog. Hi, Michael. What is it? Hey, it's such nice weather outside. You should go get some fresh air. I wish I could, but it's so much work to be done. All right, so fresh air is good for your brain. It's bad for your skin to stay inside. What a workaholic! That's what a workaholic man would say. But it's such a nice and quiet day outside. Uh, I think the man one. That's what a workaholic men would usually say, and they end up being very unproductive because of that. Hmm, is that so? I want to be better than any man. I just feel so guilty when things go wrong in the resort. I think you're doing an amazing job given the circumstances. You can't blame yourself for Daniel disappearing. Make the staff work harder or shit happens sometimes. Amazing job. I think you're doing an amazing job running the resort given the tough circumstances. If I take a break, I don't know what people will think. Maybe no one will see you. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of sheep. No one will think anything. That a beautiful, hard-working woman is taking a break. What's wrong with that? A lion. A wise man once said, A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinion of sheep. Did you just quote Game of Thrones? Thanks for trying to get me outside, Michael, but I think I'm going to keep working. So we failed. All right, it's the same dialogue. Um, let's do this one again. And then... 
Amazing job. I think I messed up on the last one. A beautiful and hardworking woman is taking a break. I don't see anything wrong with that. Nope, that wasn't it either. No one will see you taking a break? You just need a short break. I don't think anyone will see you. Nope, not that one. No one will think anything. Don't worry, I don't think anyone cares. Nope, that wasn't it either. Hey, let's see, um, can't blame yourself. Nope. All right, let's see. Fresh air is good for your brain. No. It's got to be the guy one, because all the other dialogue is the same. Dialogue is the same. I'm trying to find one that's different than the other ones. No, let's try the second one. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Michael. How can I help you? All right, we did all this one. Let's see. Let's see. Um, maybe I could use some of the info Lucy gave me on Diana to try and convince her to go for a walk. I thought I did everything she said. Let's try it again. No, there's got to be there's got to be a combination here. And I'm pretty sure that's the workaholic man. See this one, you see what happens is I feel so guilty when I do something wrong. Let's see what it says. It jumps right into if I take a break, I'm not sure what people will think, right? If I take a break, see that one's the same also. Side, so perhaps you're right. Now I need to go on to the right one here. There we go. Okay, that was it. Okay, you convinced me. I'll go for a walk. I'll go with Lucy for a short walk. The poor girl was also cooped up in the office the whole day. Diana asked you to keep an eye on the office while she and Lucy went for a little stroll in the sun. As soon as they're gone, you look through the metal cabinet under Diana's desk and took one gold access card from it. You should take two, one for her and one for you. I'm just saying. Once Diana and Lucy were back, you swiftly made your way to the laundryette to bring Maya the good news. Go us. We did it. You're here. Did you manage to get the gold access card? Here it is. That's insane. How did you manage to get it? Thank you so much. Dude, if I can get morphine and then wine, I'm sure I can snick a, a gold card. <laughs> I wish I could thank you properly, but I need to run back to the hotel. I have so many bedrooms to clean. So want to hang out later? 
I am sure. Do you want to meet in the garden later on? I've always wanted to check out the resort gardens. Sounds good to me. See you later, Michael, and thanks again for helping me. All right, so we got the gold card for Maya. We are just rocking and rolling. You waited patiently for a couple hours for Maya to finish her shift and headed over to the garden, excited about the date with the gorgeous maid. The young master has returned. Hey, have you seen a girl around here? Skinny build, blonde hair, blue eyes? She works as a maid in the hotel. No, Maurice saw no girl today. Weird, I was expecting her here. I forgot her number. Now I have no way of contacting her. And I just keep getting tricked by every single thing that has boobs on this island. I'll just keep falling for it, because I'm a white knight. Perhaps she's resting in the staff quarters. She could be, if only I knew which room she's in. Lucy in the general's off manager's office will know. Great, thanks for your help, buddy. All right, to the general manager's office. Oh, they just put us there. Hey, Michael, how can I help you? Hi, Lucy. I'm looking for a hotel maid named Maya. Could you check which room she's staying in the staff quarters? Who is Maya Romeo? Okay, let me check for you. Huh, I can't find anyone named Maya in the system. Huh, maybe Maya's just her nickname. Or maybe you're being lied to, stupid. There's no maid with a name starting with the letter M. I also checked all the other departments. There is nobody named Maya working here. Okay, that's weird. All right, that that is pretty weird. We got new. No. Oh, Maya, Maya got our phone number somehow. My dearest Michael, I'm really sorry for disappearing like this. You were so sweet to help out a girl you just met. I guess you must know by now that I wasn't telling you the whole truth last time we met. I'm so sorry I used you like this, like everyone else on the island has. But I had my reasons. I hope you don't hate me for what I've done. But I'll understand if you do. I'm not at the resort anymore. Please don't try to look for me. What the hell? What nefariousness is going on here? That's weird. huh? Alright, so I really don't know what the next clue is now because it hasn't told us anything else. Depot? No? Um... Um... I don't see anything new. Are we at the end of the game? Oh, uh, we may be at the end of the game, guys. There might not be no more contents. Let's check out the manager's office. This might be it. Let's check really quick. Hi, Michael. How's it going with the washing machines? Sorted. All the washing machines are operational now. Marvelous. I was really starting to get worried our guests wouldn't get clean bed sheets on time. I just heard news that Danny managed to fix her truck. She needs to get to Easton ASAP to fetch the supplies we need. Here's a piece of paper listing the things she needs to bring back. Uh oh, more material guys, we can keep playing. Yay! Could you bring this to her please? Also try to help her with unloading the cargo if you can. And one more thing, could you pop by the power station? Alfred needs a hand with some repairs. Alright, so we got an item added to inventory, we got a list.